तो लेट सी ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग सीजनिंग ऑफ टिम्बर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस इज टेक्निकली सीजनिंग इज ऑप्शन ए इज सेंग रिमूवल ऑफ मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम टिम्बर येस टू प्रोलॉन्ग द लाइफ ऑफ टिम्बर वी रिमूव द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इन इट दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रॉटिंग एंड डिटेरियोरेशन ऑफ टिम्बर ओके देर फॉर ऑप्शन ए इज ऑल राइट देन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रोटेक्टिव कोट ओवर टिम्बर सी वी डू नॉट अप्लाई एनी एक्सटर्नल प्रोटेक्टिव कोट इन फॉर्म ऑफ पाउडर लेट से लिक्विड लेट से और एनी काइंड ऑफ कोट एक्सटर्नली ओवर द टिम्बर सी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रोटेक्टिव कोट ओवर द टिम्बर इज द डेफिनेशन फॉर प्रिजर्वेशन ओके वेन वी आर गोइंग फॉर प्रिजर्वेशन देन ऑब्वियसली वी आर अप्लाइंग सम प्रोटेक्टिव कोट ओके सीजनिंग डज नॉट कंसिस्ट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एनी प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर और केमिकल और एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेस दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्रोटेक्टिव कोटिंग और लेयरिंग ओवर द एक्सटर्नल सर्फेस ऑफ टिम्बर दैट्स वाई टेक्निकली सीजनिंग कैन बी डिफाइंड एज रिमूवल ऑफ मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम टिम्बर इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोलॉन्ग इट्स लाइफ ओके ऑप्शन सी एंड ऑप्शन डी विल गेट रूल्ड आउट ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट वन देन पर्पज ऑफ सीजनिंग इज ओके वाई वी आर सीजनिंग द टिम्बर लोअरिंग द वेट ऑफ द टिम्बर येस दिस इज करेक्ट बिकॉज वेन वी आर सीजनिंग द टिम्बर वेन वी आर एयर सीजनिंग इट नेचुरल सीजनिंग इट और वेन वी आर आर्टिफिशियली सीजनिंग द टिम्बर द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इन साइड द टिम्बर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड इट गेट्स एवोबरेटेड गेट्स रिड्यूस गेट रिमूव टोटली दैट्स वाई इट इज ऑब्वियसली गोइंग टू रिड्यूस द टोटल वेट ऑफ द टिम्बर ओके इट इज गोइंग टू गेट लाइट वेट देन इट इज गोइंग टू रिड्यूस क्रैकिंग और स्प्लिटिंग टेंडेंसी येस बिकॉज स्लो इस्केप ऑफ वॉटर ओके स्लो इस्केप ऑफ वॉटर और मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम द टिम्बर इज गोइंग टू अलाइन द ग्रेन्स एंड द सैप फूड इज गेटिंग हार्डन इन दिस प्रोसेस ओके इट इज स्लो प्रोसेस बट येस इट डज रिड्यूस द क्रैकिंग स्प्लिटिंग टेंडेंसी ऑफ द टिम्बर देर फॉर पॉइंट नंबर टू इज ऑल राइट करेक्ट देन इट इम्पार्ट स्ट्रेंथ टू द टिम्बर ओके सिंस सैप फूड इज गेटिंग सम वॉट हार्डन देन मॉइस्चर इज गेटिंग रिमूव Presence of moisture inside the timber makes the timber to lose its strength because rotting will take place. Some deterioration of quality of timber is going to take place because of moisture presence. And since we are removing the timber in this process of seasoning, we are indirectly letting the timber to gain some strength. Okay, it is. It will going to. It is going to gain some strength. That's why point number three is all right. Therefore, all of the above options are correct here. Then. Natural seasoning can lower the water content in timber to about two to four percent. No, see, it is not true. The thing mentioned here is false. Natural seasoning or air seasoning, in which we are just stacking the timber over each other and we are letting the timber to get rid of moisture by using the parameter of dry air. Okay, and since we are not having air control okay we don't have control over the natural parameter that's why we cannot just force the natural component of nature the component of atmosphere to lower the water content in timber to 2 to 4 percent low that's why it will always have a 10 to 12 percent of moisture content when we are going with natural seasoning or which is also known as air seasoning okay natural seasoning is also known as air seasoning okay 2 to 4% removal of uh, water content is possible only in artificial seasoning okay that's why 10 to 12% is the limit the lowest limit to which natural seasoning can remove the moisture or water content then disadvantage of natural seasoning is r okay do natural seasoning or air seasoning require skilled supervision no there are no artificial process in natural seasoning that are going to require skilled supervision therefore the point a option a is wrong it doesn't need any skilled supervision it is just left open in open space the timber are stacked over each other and they are left even unsupervised for days and weeks okay we do not need a staff a personnel over there to look after the process okay 
then stack size is limited no we can have n number of number to be stacked over each other okay some sort of limitation will be there means the physical limitation of stacking okay the stack will become unstable if you are just going keeping the timber one or other one or other but the stack size limitation are dominant when we are going for artificial seasoning okay in natural sing, uh, seasoning the limit at which the timber can be stacked the physical limit of stacking the timber when we are going to achieve it you can stack n number of timber over each other but when we are talking about artificial seasoning artificial seasoning may have a tank or a storage chamber okay and with respect to the limitation of storage chamber we are going to have the restriction of stack size in artificial seasoning therefore point number b that stack size is limited it disadvantage of natural seasoning is wrong then difficulty in parameter control yes parameter control is possible only in case of artificial seasoning because whatever the dry air the vacuuming whatever the process control you want to have in artificial seasoning it is possible in that only okay when we are talking about natural or air seasoning we are unable to control the air quality we are unable to control the direction of air flow we are unable to control the weather conditions such as uh, precipitation is there in form of rainfall is there in form of snowfall is there okay we cannot control the natural parameters that's why the only disadvantage of natural seasoning is we are unable to control the parameters such as air and weather that's why option c suits the question that it is the disadvantage of natural or air seasoning okay option c is the right one then lack of parameter control in air seasoning or natural seasoning result into end splitting yes this is the seasoning defect we will have end splitting means the ends of the timber log are going to get split okay there will be having some cracks on them then warping warping means what warping means shaping out the timber which is supposed to be straight will get shape out okay some kind of warping along x or y axis or longitudinal or transfer axis will be there okay warping or shaping out will be there rotting yes if a specific portion of timber is not being exposed to the dry air okay uneven drying if it is take place if it is taking place then it is going to cause rotting or deterioration of the timber log innermost log or bottom most timber log is going to suffer with this specific problem of rotting okay that's why end splitting is possible warping is possible and rotting yes it is also possible that's why lack of parameter control result into these problems in timber then we are having question regarding advantages of air or natural seasoning it is okay economy yes we do not require any specific tool or storage container or process container in case of natural seasoning that's why economy is the foremost advantage of air or natural seasoning then there is no sizing or stacking rest stacking restriction yes you can stack at any n number of level as long as physically that stacking is possible okay it should not happen that you are just stacking it uh, over and it is going to collapse because of some air flow that thereby by maintaining that only thing that it should not tip over or roll over or it should not fall okay the sizing and stacking has no limitation at all that's why this is an added advantage of natural seasoning then there will no power required there will not be any power required yes you are not having any artificial process where you are going to use electricity or uh, air blower or air dryer that's why there is no power requirement in air or natural seasoning then year long process continuation no you cannot continue natural or air seasoning throughout the year or you cannot put to use all the 365 days of the year because some portion of the year is given to or is is had its contribution toward precipitation season also that's why only dry seasons only winter seasons are suitable for having the natural or air seasoning also when the moisture content of air is more in some specific portion of year then you cannot have air or natural seasoning to take place that's why it is not a year long process continuation that's why option number 4 point number 4 is wrong 
इवननेस ऑफ एक्सपोजर दोन द डिग्री ऑफ सीजनिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ सीजनिंग द क्वालिटी ऑफ सीजनिंग इज नॉट इवन वेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एयर और नेचुरल सीजनिंग ओके इवननेस ऑफ एक्सपोजर इज ओनली पॉसिबल वेन यू आर गोइंग फॉर आर्टिफिशियल सीजनिंग ओके अन इवन ट्रीटमेंट में बी गिवन ओनली द एक्सपोज पर्सन पोर्शंस विल गेट सीजन आर द पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ एयर और नेचुरल सीजनिंग दैट्स वाई इवननेस ऑफ एक्सपोजर इज नॉट अ थिंग दैट टेक्स प्लेस इन एयर और नेचुरल सीजनिंग दैट्स वाई वी विल गो विथ ऑप्शन दैट सेज पॉइंट नंबर वन टू एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट ऑप्शन डी सेज सो दैट्स वाई वी विल गो विथ ऑप्शन डी ओके लेट्स लुक एट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके we just saw advantages of natural seasoning and we are now looking at limitation or let's say disadvantages of artificial seasoning okay limitation of artificial seasoning are stack size is it the limitation of artificial seasoning yes whatever the process you are going in artificial seasoning which consists of either a storage container or a godown where artificial seasoning is taking place the stack size limitation will always be there okay space also space requirements will be there space limitation will be there stack size or sizing problem will be there therefore it is indeed a limitation then power and space requirement yes this is the limitation another limitation of artificial seasoning that it requires power and it requires space then skill supervision since we are utilizing some artificial processes that's why a personnel or a staff will be required who will be having the total knowledge of any problem occurring or any process scenario which is taking place during artificial seasoning that's why skill supervision will be required yes it cannot be kept unsupervised okay then maintenance and capital cost yes obviously the initial capital or initial budgeting will be required and the processes that consist of let's say heating the timber okay or submerge keeping the timber submerged or having some air blower or dry air drying equipments are there all these processes to require initial costing as well as their maintenance okay that's why point number 4 is another limitation then warping defect due to strong seasoning force is it the limitation of artificial seasoning no there will not be any defect as compared to natural seasoning in case of artificial seasoning because we have total process control when we are going with artificial seasoning okay whatever the exposure or amount of seasoning forces which is required in artificial seasoning can be done with respect to the timber type their length their size okay all the parameters are under full supervision full control that's why warping defects or no kind of defect takes place when we are going with artificial seasoning okay that's why we will look for the option that says point number 1 2 3 4 is correct and we can see option b is the one that says point number 1 2 3 4 is correct that's why option b is the correct answer then select the points regarding natural and artificial seasoning respectively okay we have to select we have to segregate the point regarding natural and artificial seasoning okay economy is it a point related to artificial or natural economy belongs to natural let's just write n in front of economy then evenness of seasoning is evenness a parameter in natural seasoning no evenness is possible evenness of seasoning is possible only in case of artificial seasoning let's write a in front of evenness then process control okay we just saw it process control is possible only in case of artificial seasoning therefore point number 3 belongs to artificial seasoning then less time span requirement see artificial seasoning is just a another name for accelerated seasoning we don't have to rely on the natural parameter to cause seasoning of the timber that's why less time span requirement is a advantage or a parameter associated with artificial seasoning that's why we will go with point number 4 we will allot it to artificial seasoning then ease of process okay when we are talking about ease of process we are talking about stacking ease means whole process easiness okay stacking sizing and then just keeping the 
timber log or timber stack in the open space all these ease of operation ease of process means no supervision no specific requirements regarding space or power is there is all possible in case of natural seasoning only that's why we will write n in front of point number 5 okay now let's just look for option that says point number 1 and 5 belong to natural and point number 2 3 4 belong to artificial okay we can see option a is saying the same that's why option a is the correct answer then fastest method of artificial seasoning is is it chemical no chemical needs to be applied and thus the due time takes place for application of chemical uh, seasoning okay that's why chemical seasoning got, is not the fastest one then in kin and in boiling also some time has to be spent okay time period has to be allotted for the method of seasoning in chemical kin and boiling but electrical seasoning is the one in which what they do a timber log is taken and at the extreme end high frequency alternating current is passed okay high frequency alternating current is passed because of which the moisture content gets instantly evaporized and thus the fastest method available with us for seasoning of the timber is electrical one okay what we are doing in that just take the timber log apply the electrodes poles to it okay then high frequency current are passed within fraction of second let's say or just seconds or minutes that's why the fastest one amongst the given methods of seasoning is electrical seasoning okay then boiling and water immersion type seasoning help timber to okay swell uniformly first then drying them artificially ensures evenness no this does not happen in boiling and water immersion type seasoning the only motto of boiling or contact of water that is water immersion type seasoning helps timber to get the weak portions such as sap washed away okay the sap gets washed away that's why the quality of timber the quality of grain which is present inside the timber gets improved okay sap is the weak portion and we have to get rid of that it can be done by boiling and water immersion processes therefore swelling it uniformly is not the thing that is taking place the only aim is remove the sap that's why option b will be the correct one both is not there none is not there okay so that was all regarding seasoning of the timber and we just saw natural and artificial seasoning in the next lecture we will see about conversion and sources of timber okay till then keep studying bye bye